again from Normandy. It's sunny and very, very hot. And a good day to talk about vitamin D3. <laughs> it was in the 17th century that two physicians and members of the newly formed Royal Society first wrote one in a treatise and the other in a PhD thesis about the newly found bone deformation condition in children. But it was not until two centuries later that a Polish chemist discovered that the key factor in this condition was sunlight. That was when he studied two groups of children, one living in the countryside where they were getting out in the fresh air and sunlight and the other where children were confined in the cities. A century later the vitamin necessary to control this condition was found to be vitamin D3. But it wasn't until 1935 that scientists first isolated the precursor for vitamin D3, the 7-dehydrocholesterol. And also, the importance of vitamin D, not just as something that prevented bone deformation and the disease called rickets, but a vitamin that was important across a whole spectrum of health. But what I want to do here is look at the mechanism by which vitamin D is absorbed by the chicken. And there are two schools of thought on this, and one that I'm particularly enamoured of is the eating off the, off the plumage. It's that the cholesterol is contained within the preen oil. The chicken preens itself using preen oil all over its feathers, then lies in the sun, and then afterwards when the action of the radiation on that cholesterol has created the provitamin D3, the chicken then eats that cholesterol and obtains the vitamin that way, which then goes to its kidneys and liver and is transformed into actual D3. I've seen my chickens consuming something off their feathers. I have presumed, when they've been lying in the sun, I have presumed that they were just preening. But I've also seen newly arrived chickens that have been kept indoors when I've introduced them to the flock actually eating something off the feathers of my own chickens as well and I'm worrying, wondering if that was them supplementing with vitamin D. There's one school of thought that believes it is exactly the same, that the chicken lies in the sun, its skin is exposed to sunlight and that the UVB light reacts on the cholesterol in its skin and it gets vitamin D3. But that raises the question of what happens when you've got chicken breeds like this because when they lie in sun there's very little skin to be exposed. The argument as well about the human chicken similarities is that a lot of the cholesterol is found on the legs but I've seen chickens oil their legs with preen oil. So let's go around the garden, have a look and see how the sunbathing chickens are doing in 31 degrees C. So little Cecily, what do you think? Do you think that your best chance of making vitamin D is by sticking your leg out or by putting your feathers out in the sun? I think that's a new comment. Go away, I'm sunbathing. See, in all this research about, oh, it's on the feet, well, what do you do with somebody like Hastings, who's got really big furry legs? I mean, he's never going to get any sun, except on his comb. Same thing with his brother. Big cuckoo, how do you get sun? On your skin? Oh, and your feathers.
same with these two. They've both got feathers all the way down their legs. They're having a dust bath. But uh, how do they sunbathe? I think it's got to be the feathers and the preen gland. I'm going for that.